The first thing you want to do is create a simple drawing of what you want to illustrate. What I'm going to do here is open up a new document and place a scan that I have of the original drawing that I made for this. It's still a very rough sketch. It's basically just created so that I can get the shapes right and some of the shadows how I want them. Once I have that done, I place a piece of tracing paper or vellum on top of that image and using several different size markers and pens, I'll trace over the original image and refine it and create something that's closer to what I want to end up with. In the next stage, I repeat the process and refine the image even more. The image now has sharp, clear, defined edges, which is exactly what we need for the next step. Now we're going to use the Trace program in Illustrator. With the image selected, click on the small arrow next to Live Trace at the top of your screen. It's a good idea to experiment with the different options under the Trace program. What works for my particular drawing may not be the best option for yours. There's also an option at the bottom called Tracing Options. This allows you to manually change the various settings. For this particular image, I'll use the default settings. So all I have to do is click directly on Live Trace. Once the image is traced, go to the top of the screen and click on Expand. On the top menu, go to Object and select Ungroup. Now go through your image and delete any areas that you don't need, such as the outer white block, and in this case, the area that's between the snakes and the staff. Sometimes it can be difficult to select the small areas. One thing that can help is if you select the black and go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. It sends the, all of the black area to the background and sends all the white areas to the front. This makes it a lot easier to select these small white areas. You can either leave your vector art as a black and white illustration or at this point you can add some color. This is what our illustration looks like after adding color. For tips on adding color, see our other tutorial called Coloring Vector Art in Illustrator. And thanks for watching.